this particular needle was placed well through the dura into the intrathecal space. But the opening is perfectly placed just as well. And of course, you get the CSF flow back and an injection would definitely occur into the intrathecal or spinal space. But if that needle is only partially placed like this, you can see how some of the injection may leak into the epidural space, not into the intrathecal space. Wherever the less resistance is, at the very least, some of the injection will end up in the epidural space, but not necessarily in the intrathecal space. And again, the best way to prevent this is two things to do. One is always rotate 360 degrees so that you get the CSF flow throughout that rotation. And number two, always aspirate throughout the aspiration process any failure to get a really clear and consistent flow of the CSF during gentle aspiration could indicate that you have this situation where your injection will not be 100% inside the intrathecal space. This is one of the most common failures for the spinal anesthetic when you actually do have a CSF in your needle after inserting the needle into the patient's back. Make sure you subscribe to Nisora YouTube channel and never miss the beat.